guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do a Q&A. And I asked you guys on my Instagram some questions that you wanted answered. So today I'm going to jump into that and ans answer all those questions for you. Okay, so let's just get started with the first question, which is by yep, it's me underscore. Thank you so much for commenting and asking your question. And the question is, who inspired you to do YouTube? By the way, you're too gorgeous. Thank you so much. Um, well, what inspired me to do YouTube? Well, in the beginning when I started doing YouTube, I wasn't really like, oh, I want to be a blogger, I want to be a vlogger. It was nothing like that. I just started because I wanted to show you guys how I did my hijab because I always got a lot of questions on the street on how I do it. So I thought, oh, you know, might as well just make a video about it. And I uploaded that. And then after that, it was kind of you guys that were always asking like, hey, can you show us this and can, can you show us that? And I kind of fell in love with the entire filming process. So that is basically what inspired me to do it. I know it's not like some crazy story. I'm so sorry. It's Hidaya says, I love you so much. Can you give me a shout out saying, hi, Hidaya, I love you. So by this one, here we go. Hi, Hidaya, I love you. Thank you so much for commenting. Uh, Ox <laughs> asks, what do you do when you have a bad day? What do I do when I have a bit bad day? Um, basically, I am a very positive person and sometimes, you know, I get, um, of course I get in a bad mood. It's completely normal. But what I like to do is like take a couple of minutes for myself and I like to think about all the things that I have around me and how grateful I have. I am to have everything around me and that always puts me back in a good mood. I cannot really have a bad day. I sometimes do have like a bad minute or something like that but it's usually very fast over alhamdulillah so I don't really struggle with that. I, I think I'm very grateful and I always try to look at the positive side of life so you know that when you incorporate that into your life like always staying very positive then it's really hard to have bad days. Like, you, you hardly ever have them. Perks of being novice says, What inspired you to make YouTube videos? But I already answered that one. And advice for someone who wants to make videos. My biggest advice out there for anybody who wants to do YouTube is to always be yourself and just to do whatever you want. Um, if you want to be a blogger, then just go for it, you know. Um, I mean... When I wanted to become a blogger, I didn't really think too much about it. I just uploaded a video and kind of the rest just became the way it is. But uh, I will do a separate video on how to start blogging if you guys want. And I also have a blog post on how to be on how to, you know, be a blogger or how to become a blogger that I have post that I will link down below so you guys can check that out as well. MX Taha says, "What is the most what is the thing that you like most about your face?" That is a really hard one, but um, I mean, I can I can say it. Uh, I, I like my eyes and I like my lips, but I probably like my lips the most because I didn't know this before. But ever since I've started doing YouTube, I always get the question whether I have uh, whether I have fillers in my lips, and of course I don't. They're real, like you know, it's just my real lip. So I guess I like that the most because if they look fake, then it probably means that they look good, right? X Basma says, what is your running late outfit? Girl, all my outfits are running late outfits. I am not the type to plan my outfits the night before when I'm going out. So I usually just, you know, wear um, some kind of trousers or a skirt, a t-shirt, and probably just throw a big cardigan over it during the winter time. So I guess that would be like my go-to outfit, but that's like what I wear usually. So, you know, always in a running late outfit because I always come late. Um, for those... Aiden says, what do you like most about being a blogger, being, about being a YouTuber? Uh, by the way, you're beautiful. Well, you're beautiful, well, you're beautiful too. Thank you so much. Um, what I like most about being a blogger, being a YouTuber, gosh, I keep saying blogger because it's kind of like the same for me. But um, what I like most is you guys, of course, because you really like motivate me and, you know, all the compliments and all the sweet comments. So, you know, I, I guess that's what you like most because you live in a world with like billions of people and to know that there's some people following you and they love you for who you are. I mean, like, it's really hard to even find one person that likes you or loves you, you know, and I feel like you guys, you know, really keep me motivated and keep me going so I think that's what I like the most and of course you know seeing you guys on the streets you know saying hi or whatever that really you know it makes me happy 
um, Big Dog Lover 12, God, that's a weird name, says, Is it hard for you to pray as a Muslim during the day whilst having makeup on? Well, this is a question that I guess a lot of people ask this because you see a part of my life, which is obviously like me wearing makeup, me being dressed up, you know, and things like that. But really, that is not the way my life looks in real life. I don't wear all of this makeup in real life. Um, this is just for a video and I take it off afterwards. Like I take a couple of hours to film my video and then after that I just wash my face and I'm back to being my normal me. And uh, well, if I am out and I am wearing makeup, I make sure that I do my wudu outside because I can't do it out. Uh, that I do my wudu at home, I mean, because I can't do it outside anywhere. Uh, so I just take like my praying mat with me and I will find some corner and just pray with my makeup on because I already have my wudu done and if I don't have my wudu done usually I just you know do it at home and then just pray because I'm never outside for too long uh, so yeah I am usually at home where I don't wear makeup and I can do my prayers so you know that is that um, the fault in our Retoil, I think, says, What is your family ethnicity? My family and me <laughs> were Afghan, so that is that. Ilfara says, Most favorite piece of clothing, top and hijab. My most favorite piece of clothing, when it comes to like a top, it would be a cardigan, though that is not really a top, but if that counts. And hijab, I think it would be, um, I don't know, like a pashmina because I wear like a black one a lot. So that is that. Amir Sabir says, if you had to put on only one makeup item, foundation, lipstick, eyebrow, pencil, for an entire day, what would it be? I would just, um, I would put on an eyeliner. That's it. Though I'm not wearing one today, so I could probably survive. I'd only wear mascara then. 786 asks a couple of questions and she says, what are you studying? I study communication science, so besides being a full-time blogger, I am also a student, so, you know, tough life. Not really, but I mean, kind of gets hectic sometimes. Do you think about marriage? Of course, I'm a girl. Everybody thinks about that. Where would you like to live later? I would like to live right where I live now. I would love to be in Rotterdam forever. This is like really my town. I love it. Uh, who is your favorite hijab blogger other than Iman, of course? God, I have a few of them. Of course, Iman from Fashion with Faith. She is my bae, so I love her to death. Um, God, tough one. Um, Asya AF, uh, AFK, I think, and Dion Palangi. I love those two girls. They're amazing. Yimar says, where did you learn to put on makeup? On oh, myself, girl. <laughs> I was really young when I was like always experimenting. I wasn't allowed to wear it, but I would just do it anyway at home. So yeah, I think that's where I learned it. I'm not too good though. I mean, I can apply makeup on myself, but when I have to do it on somebody else, it's really hard. I can't do it. Can you see that? It gets dark so quickly. <laughs> it's like so annoying. I'm like just sitting here and suddenly it starts to get dark because it's winter, you know? Like, oh, can't deal with it. Oh, oh, Fatima says, what, 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 ba, ba, I lost it there. <laughs> what advice would you give to a girl about self-confidence? Love you. I love you too. And the advice that I want, like, that I would like to give girls out there, like, you know, girls together, we can be really mean. We can be really, like, you know, sometimes I wish that, um, girls would be more supportive of each other because you know women are supposed well, like women we are always like put aside by men already like it, we live in a totally man world like you know men are in charge they are supposed to be boss whatever all of that crap that I don't believe in and then you know there comes like girls Together we do the same thing, you know, like we hate on each other. We're constantly judging each other And what I would like to say to any girl that is completely not like that 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 likes to stay aside from all that judgment and judging people and you know just Mean girls I would say I'm sorry, but you know that is just the truth about most 
you know, about some of them. I wouldn't say most, but about some of them. And I would just like to say to be yourself, don't care. Because if you wear red shoes, they're going to be like, look at her red shoes. If you wear black shoes, they're going to be like, look at her black shoes, you know. People, they always have something to comment and... The best thing is to believe in yourself, believe in who you are, believe in why you do things and then just roll with it. Just be yourself, believe in yourself, you know, because honestly you are all so amazing. You have so much in you and don't let anybody, you know, don't let anybody make you feel small. You know, I can get really touchy about that subject. Uh, AS ACM 786 says, what are you studying at school? But I already answered that. It's communication science. And how old are you? I am 21 years old. My birthday is on 24th of September. So, yeah. Um, Asia Ilya says, how did you learn English? I learned English because I have a lot of family living all over the world that talk in English as well. And also, I learned English because I love to watch movies and I love Hollywood movies. I live in Holland where we speak Dutch. But um, I would say I, I like speaking English more because I love to travel. So then I'm always, you know, talking in English. I like to talk English to like my sisters. You know, we talk English because we watch so much, uh, you know, TV programs and movies and whatever. And well, you know, I'm telling you about myself. So I'll just go ahead and tell you about my favorite programs, which is Modern Family. I love Modern Family to death. Like I've watched all their episodes at least five times, like all of them. Mahia, Mahima Malek says, do you regret anything? By the way, Ruba, I love you so much. I love you too. And she says, what advice would you give to a person who wants to start wearing a hijab but they are too scared? For that, I recommend my hijab video for all the hijab questions. I will leave it down below so you can check that out. It's my entire hijab stories, all the struggles, all the things, all my thoughts, everything is in there. And do you regret anything? God, girl, I'm 21, I went through my teenage, um, you know, phase and I regret so many things. But at the end of the day, like... As long as you repent for everything that you have done that you're not proud of. And at the end of the day, everything that I've done makes me who I am. So, do I regret things? Of course, I do wish that things were different sometimes. But they are the way they are and you just gotta accept that and move on. Links, I cannot pronounce your name, girl. Please say something in Pashto. Um, something in Pashto. Salam, singeye, khaye, mor de khadi. Uh, you know, I can say a lot of things if you want, but I don't know what to say, so, you know. Um, and uh, also sell somewhere, say something in Dutch, so I might as well do that. Hi, who is it? My name is Ruba. Uh, I am 21 years old and I make all my films in English, because I hou daar from. <laughs> so that is that. Uh, Sam S. H23 says, what do you do when you're happy? What do I do when I'm happy? I laugh a lot. I am a laugher. I laugh all the time. Always. <laughs> Little Ninja016 says, how tall are you? I am 1 meter 54 centimeters. I'm a shorty. Um, though I come up, I, I mean, I always look short, no, I always look tall and really big on camera, I look like, you know, I look like, uh, I look bigger on camera, so whenever people see me, they're like, oh my god, you're so small, and I think I look fat as well on camera, because I'm just gonna put it out there while we're being honest here, anyway, I hate it when people comment, oh my god, you are so fat, you gained so much weight, I just have a fat face, and that is all, I am a clothing sign size extra small small I cannot get smaller than this so to ev everybody out there that's always commenting oh my god you look like you've gained weight or you look like you look fatter than that girl I'm already extra small and a small thinner than this means that I'm gonna die so you know just leave the ugliness to yourself don't comment stuff like that Hannah the poop <laughs> God, your name, honestly, um, says what are, oh no, what, wait a second, would you ever move to London? How many siblings do you have? I have two younger sisters, and uh, would you ever move to London or America? I would love to move to London or America and live there, live there for like six months, because I love both countries, both 
you know, the city and the country. Like, I love London and I love America, but, um, you know, I wouldn't, like, permanently move there because it's a really huge step, especially because my parents are here and because my entire life is here. But I would love to, like, go there for, like, six months or something channel for today's video i'm going to show you three different hijab styles using three different hijabs from our collection and i'm starting off with the pink milk hijab and i'm going to fold